Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. It really does help my channel to grow. Um, you can also join membership by pressing the join button either below the video or in the description box as well. There's a link for it there. I'll also try and pin it in the comments for you guys. Um, but yeah, so I might post there after this video. I'm not sure yet, but um, you'll see it in the comment section or in the live chat if I do decide to do that. <laughs> so anyways, guys, um, we're going to get into this reading. I also quickly want to say thank you to the person that purchased this deck off my wish list. You are amazing. Um, this is beautiful. I actually love this deck already. Like I'm getting so many intuitive messages from it. The imagery is so nice. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, yes, very beautiful deck. And also like, Yes, thank you for purchasing that. That was so kind of you. <laughs> um, like it, like I said, it always makes my day, guys, so much. Like when you guys purchase cards and it makes the reading so fun too. Um, but yeah, so yes, I have a wish list in the description box and also a PayPal link uh, down below if anyone ever would like to donate to the channel. And again, it really helps me to put out free videos for you guys and I really do appreciate it. Anyways, um, we're going to get into this reading. Um, this might be a slightly shorter reading. We'll see because I'm also likely going to post another video later going in with the charms again just because I've got a lot of messages from them. But I really enjoyed using these cards today so I didn't really want to weigh the message down by adding a bunch of stuff in with charms too. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to get into this message. Um, so basically what I'm seeing guys is like, first off, I'm just going to say straight up, there's a masculine that is absolutely just in love with the divine feminine. Um, that's strongly what this reading is. Um, also in terms before we start of like channel messages, um, I was hearing cast off, something about a videotape, cooking show, um, something else about cooking again, um, careful deliberation, I was hearing something about a collection agency and then also something about um someone being safely on their way home or so close i was hearing so yes i was also hearing something about someone's walls coming down anyways we're gonna get into this um this was definitely more of an intuitive read as well but in this first card here guys like there's someone here he's like this man on a mission i feel he's ready to go and see a divine feminine he wants to make an offer to her this is about um giving some sort of news to her um self-discovery as well but i feel like this is someone ready to send a message to a divine feminine say something to her obviously we see this man's walking with flowers um also want to point out how he's like walking past the statue but not really looking at it so and this is a masculine who's moved beyond just looking at someone's physical appearance i feel like this could be the karmic person over here like being so flashy like really showing themselves off their body and like he's kind of like la 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 yeah okay that's nice like he doesn't really he's not really phased by that anymore i feel like he's really searching for something deeper now this is a masculine who's awakened who is not simply focused on the physical anymore obviously we've seen in readings he thinks divine feminine is beautiful anyways but this is not all he's looking for anymore now he's looking for something more serious um something stable and he's also got his mind set like he knows where he's going he is not going to be phased by this person trying to put on a show for him trying to show off like stand on a pedestal and be like look at me like he's like no i don't care he's like i already know where i'm going like his mind is so made up um but yeah i was also hearing something about posing in a particular way being flirty like this could be the karmic person um i was hearing that song sexual healing as well <laughs> um but someone's definitely in this per pose, like this pose, sorry, the statue, like using their sexuality. Again, I feel like this is a karmic. Um, it also could be, though, that he's just sexually attracted to divine feminine as well. Um, but I was hearing something like, just love me, just love me, like from a karmic point of view. Um, I was also hearing something about roped into this, can't touch this. I was hearing that song, it's like, da -na -na -na, da -na, can't touch it. <laughs> maybe that's the divine masculine he's like yeah you can't come near me now like i know where i'm going um karmic you can stay away <laughs> i was also hearing the lyrics from toxic um but yeah like he's just he's not interested in what someone has to wear or what they have to show off like he's just interested in really like who someone is on the inside and he wants to show them how he feels about them and again this is about a message for someone and so he's walking right by this other person 
and I was hearing something about arachnophobia. I feel like he's like afraid of this other person. Like they're acting weird. They're acting like a little bit creepy. It's kind of funny because of my charm readings. My charm for that is a spider. So I feel like he just like freaked out by this person's like, hey, you're just like weird. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't like you anymore. Um, he's just avoiding them. And there's something about, I was hearing something about a painting. I keep hearing things about pa someone painting something or someone's trying to be Pablo Picasso. I was hearing that too. Maybe someone's going to an art museum or something about art. Maybe someone made someone a painting. We were talking about something creative he could have made. I don't know, something along those lines. I was also hearing grandeur. Um, guys, I'm also hearing uh, syphilis. Um, so that could be the karmic person. I strongly don't think this is the masculine. I feel like it's definitely the karmic um, for the many readings we've done, there's something about them having some sort of STD. That could be what it is. I've heard that for like three days now, so I thought I'd acknowledge it. Um, I also keep hearing something about fainting, but again, this could be painting. And then I also heard nail salon as well. Um, painting, Picasso. Yeah, I keep hearing that. Um, also, he doesn't want to hide his secrets anymore, this masculine. There's something about him wanting to kind of like come out of the shadows or something. I'm also hearing door, um, sorting out my thoughts, salutations, my love. I was hearing that too. I was also hearing south of the border, whatever that means to someone, um, and cooking a meal together. Like if you guys used to cook in the past, there's something about he wants to cook a meal with you or wants to cook a meal for you, something like that. And then like literally clarifying like this news that he wants to give you is the high priestess, guys. Like, and this is Divine Feminine lately. This is how she's been coming out as this high priestess who's someone very intuitive, very knowledgeable. She's like looking at her book like, yep, I already know it's coming. Um, I have all the knowledge already. <laughs> like, um, And when I looked at this card, I heard that song or like the very specific lyrics like, pretty woman walking down the street, pretty woman that I like to meet, something like that. And so that's what I'm hearing for that. And up here with the two of cups guys like look at him in the background of this card like he's just like creeping he just like is staring at her from a distance like she's so beautiful like should i talk to her should i say something i don't know and like she's over here like just minding her own business also you can see that she's lifted her mask a bit i feel like this is like representative of the fact that you guys have like opened up to this masculine a bit but he never fully opened up to you in the past and so now he's kind of like oh she kind of took off her mask like should I start taking off my mask too? Like, maybe I should do that. Like, I feel like that's how he's feeling now. And also, when I saw this card, I don't know where this relates, but I was hearing something about patient housing. Um, yeah, also, I was hearing soft lips. Um, and I was hearing that song, I still hear your voice when you sleep next to me. Like, I think that's called every time we touch, I get this feeling. Every time we kiss, I swear I could fly. Yeah, um, and I've heard that song like three times now in readings, guys. Um, and someone is like this masculine guy is like dreaming about you guys. Like he's like imagining the times you guys were physical or intimate together. Like he's imagining how it used to be with you. Like there's a lot of reminiscing going on lately. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I started talking more about pasta. And I know someone asked me to start posting more about past stuff and it's like, I can't really decide what comes out in the readings, to be honest, guys. It just kind of comes up sometimes, but lately it seems like there is a masculine who is reminiscing about, um, like, things you guys used to do together or, like, how you used to be. Like, it's literally in the lyrics. Like, he still, he hears your voice when you sleep next to him. Like, he's imagining what it was like when he was with you, maybe even in bed. Like, he's imagining... <laughs> hearing you or just like hearing your voice again like he just wants to hear you and see you like there's just everything about you like he's just missing all the little things um I was also hearing something about tenure for this card I don't know why um and then also I was hearing um from the song writings on the wall guys I keep hearing that song too um there's a part in the song where he's like I'm suffocating and it's like without your love or something like that like he's literally like going nuts without you like I feel like he just misses you so much right now like it's just getting so strong um and he feels like with the song writings on the wall like there's something written in stone about you guys like you're meant to be you're destined to be he feels like you're the only one for him like 
And also in that song, it's all about risking it all. Like, he wants to risk everything for you. There's something about him taking a leap. Like, he's going to risk something for you. This could have to do with, like, again, this situation with the karmic or his family. Um, there could be something to do with, like, religious differences or something as well. And, like, he doesn't care, though, what anyone says anymore. Like, he's just like, I want to risk it all for this divine feminine. Like, look at him looking at her. Like, he's so admire. Like, he admires you so much. I can't even, like, explain the energy coming out in this reading um yeah like he just can't imagine living life without you i feel like that's the part about suffocating like he just feels like every night he goes to sleep like all he can think about is you um and yeah like he also feels like i was hearing selfish in the past when i looked at this as well so he feels selfish for something you said or did um i was hearing the song thousand miles so you guys could be far distance apart like that song I'd walk a thousand miles if I could just see you like that song guys like he would do anything for you I feel like he just wants to come see you and there's something like I feel like it's happening soon like just I don't know yeah this energy here um and then I was also hearing the song I'm a creep I'm a weirdo I don't belong here like that song I'm a creep I'm a weirdo what the am I doing here um and then also in that song he says like you're just like an angel and guys in the last reading I told you he thinks you're like an angel I'm not even kidding he thinks you're like an earth angel <laughs> he feels that way about you and he feels like you're so special like these are lyrics from the song he feels like you're so special he wants you to notice when he's not around we just talked about that like he wanted you to miss him more than you you are like he's like how is she so okay like, I thought she would be more upset without me and, like, not living her best life, but she's, like, doing fine. And, that, like, that's exactly what's coming out in this song. And also in that song is about running, running out the door. It's like, run, run. And it's also, I think there's a part about running out of time or something. And I keep telling you guys there's something about timing here. He feels like um, he's losing time with you, like, he has to get back to you soon, or else you're gonna, like, move on without him or something, like, he has to run to your door, or something like that, or you ran out the door from him in the past, and, like, I don't know, he has so many regrets, I feel, and also in that song, it's like, I think it's in that song, yeah, it's like, whatever makes you happy, whatever you want, whatever makes you happy, whatever you want, like, this divine masculine's ready to just give you everything, like, he just wants to give it all to you, I feel, and, also, um, in that song, the fact that the song called I'm a Creep, like, look at him in this card, like, watching you, the way he's so hidden in the corner watching, I feel like that's with him, that's him with, like, your social media or, like, old pictures of you or something, like, that's how he is right now, like, he's almost in this obsessive energy at the moment, but, like, it's just, like, a very, very loving energy, like, he really just misses you, he misses your touch, he misses being near you, close to you, all of this stuff, everything about you, I feel and then um yeah down here we have the seven of pentacles in reverse guys and this card oh my gosh this deck guys is blowing me away i have been saying coliseum for like three weeks like i keep channeling that message coliseum and look at what is on this card it's a coliseum i don't know if that's significant for someone but wow okay so seven of pentacles in reverse also is like saying like he's made up his mind like he's made his decision and it's you like it's only you he's like i have all these other options but i don't want any of them i don't want this karmic person i don't want anyone else i want you that's it he's like there's so many doorways i could go through but like i only want to go through one i know exactly which one i'm going through <laughs> that's it um that could be metaphorical um anyways uh yeah like I also, I don't know why, guys, okay, with this card too, I'm hearing play me like a whistle, <laughs> I don't know, and catch me if you can, run as fast as you can, something like that, like someone's running, I feel like he's running to you, or he wants to run to you, um, catch me if you can, maybe he feels like you're running away from him or something, or he wants to run to you, I don't, I don't know, again, this could have something to do with the karmic situation before, um, I also was hearing something about paramedics on this card, and we keep seeing stuff about a doctor's office or nurse or something for this karmic, so maybe this was the karmic too, like, because obviously this card is talking about the other options that he had, so maybe they were a paramedic or something, or that could have been involved, like a paramedic had to show up in a situation because there was something that went down with a karmic person, I don't know. Um, but anyway, 
anyways <laughs> um I also am getting something like someone doesn't like their private life being ex exposed like I was hearing that with this card like someone really likes their private life to be to themselves but I feel like like we've been seeing something about a court case so maybe um there's things that have come out now that he wanted to keep private like I was seeing like everyone knows now about how he feels about a divine feminine or about this karmic and like he doesn't really like that like he wanted it to be more private or something um I was also hearing poking fun at at you this could have been like a karmic person because we did say they were making fun of divine masculine or divine feminine yeah um also in terms of like we have justice down here as well so this again could have something to do with a court situation going on i feel like he might just be like wrapping up a court case or something like we've been seeing it for so long like i'm almost feeling like it's something coming to an end and then he's gonna be able to move forward because I don't feel like someone who's this madly in love with you would just like purposely hold themselves back unless it's out of fear but I'm not really seeing that much about fear here so I don't know I feel like it's more like something is physically holding him back like it could also be like family or something as well I don't know but anyway so we have the justice here so when I saw this card I was hearing hearing conundrum um I also heard attention please will the real slim shady please stand up so remember guys we were talking about someone fake in this situation i feel like the masculine's gonna get proven in innocent for whatever has been done like this karmic was trying to make everything seem like it was the masculine's fault they're trying to put things on him we talked about this in the membership section but yeah so i feel like there's gonna be a section of this like i don't know court case where like yeah the masculine's gonna be proven innocent basically is all i'm seeing here like he's gonna be proven in innocent um I also was hearing, hey, stop, don't do that. Something about fasten your seatbelts, belts clicked in. Um, something about a pay raise, business ideas. I also was hearing that song with this card, hang out in the potty room with the latest dictionary and today's zoo. Get you anything with that evil smile. Everybody's got a drug dealer on speed down. Hey, hey, I wanna be a rock star. So, yeah. First off, someone could be a drug dealer or or this karmic. We have seen that they do drugs or something or have some sort of addiction. So maybe this is like, this comes out um, that they were using to mask them for money, for drugs, or like they are a drug dealer. I don't know. Maybe someone actually is here. I don't know. I was just hearing those lyrics. And I mean, also in that song says, get you anything with that evil smile. So um, I feel like this karmic used to always get their way, but this time it's not going to happen. Um, also, I was hearing Rockstar, right? Like, that's the name of the song, and I keep telling you guys there's something about singing here, someone could be in the spotlight, famous for some sort of music or something, or live that sort of Rockstar lifestyle, I don't know, maybe it's just the way someone dresses, I don't know. Um, I was also hearing Pound Key, I don't know what that's about, um, Hector of Land, Bank Balance, Wet and Wild, Figured It Out. This is all to do with the court room or court case or something, yeah. I have no idea guys anyways uh moving forward so we also have the six of cups here this is so yeah we have the page of wands the two of cups the six six of cups this is straight up guys like an offer this is a reunion this is a love offer um good news coming to you coming your way and like i'm not seeing blockages in this reading it's very exciting um so yeah the six of cups also has to deal with like the past has to deal with um soulmate connections and like yeah, things like that. And it could also be like someone reminiscing about things. And when I saw this card, I was hearing something about complicated. Um, it's complicated. I was also hearing the song All Star. So again, something about like rock star, all star, someone's in the spotlight, maybe. Um, I was like in All Star, it's like show, get the show on, get paid or get the game on, get paid. So maybe someone's a famous athlete or is like, I don't know, involved in sports or with the show on Get Paid, someone works on stage or something, some sort of performer. Um, also in that song, though, it mentions not all that glitters is gold, only shooting stars break the mold. So I feel like this masculine's, like, realized that, you know, the grass wasn't greener on the other side, something like that. Like, this karmic, even though maybe they, again, like, physically were attractive, like, they didn't offer much else. Um, and also only shooting stars break the mold. I feel like he realizes now that he has to take some sort of action. He needs to be brave. And, like, that's what he's been doing lately. Like, he's been trying to break the mold, I feel. Trying to do something he's never done. Trying to come toward, back towards you. Because um, he realizes, like, if he wants to win you back, he has to do something big. And, like, that's kind of what it seems he's planning. Also for this guard, guys, 
I feel like he is reminiscing about the past too because I was hearing Happy Ending, which is by Avril Lavigne. It's like everything that I wanted, memories, like, you know, like, ugh, it's like so much for my happy ending. And like, yeah, in that song, they she literally says everything that I wanted. You were everything, everything that I wanted. Meant to be, supposed to be, but I lost it. So, yeah, um, that's exactly how he feels about you. Like, he just feels like you were everything that he could have had. And he went and messed it up. And he regrets it. He has so much regret for messing that up. Like, he just feels like, he's like, I literally had exactly what I wanted in front of me. And I couldn't see it. Like, why didn't I see it? Like, I feel like that's how he feels. Um, I also was hearing, like, we could have created together. Something like that created together. Um... Yeah, and also was hearing, um, I want to return to my best friend and rewrite the stars. <laughs> um, that That's a song to rewrite the stars. It's like, rewrite the stars, say you were made to be mine. It's up to you and it's up to me. No one can say what we get to be. So I feel like if there are outside influences, like I said, guys, I feel like he's not listening to them. Like, look, even this car, there's people watching. I feel like he's not going to listen to outside opinions. Like, if he wants to come back and see you, like, he's going to do it eventually. Like, it seems like it's happening soon. But, like, I just feel like, like, he just wants to fix things with you. With you. He wants to, like, <laughs> come back because he feels like you're his destiny. Like, there's so much feeling here. Like, he just feels like you're the one for him and he just messed it up and he was like why didn't I see this earlier and like now I want to go and fix it I gotta fix it because there's not no other no other person that I want um yeah and also I don't know why I was hearing offended by my personal story that was really random I was also hearing vacate the building and something about I picked the wrong person so again he has regrets he picked the wrong person guys he knows that now um, and then also we have the United Pentacles down here. So like talking about the past here and like returning like a reunion, um, it's still on its way. Like this is someone who's determined to make things happen. This is also can be like slightly slower moving energies that could be like something has slowed him up is what I've been seeing also in the charm readings. Um, there's like something slightly slowing him down, but like he wants to move fast is what I keep seeing. Like it's not him that wants to move slowly. Like it's like something else slowing him down. It could be like, again, family, a court case that hasn't quite finished up yet. Like this karmic person, something like that. Um, maybe we'll find out more about that later tonight. I'm going to do likely a charm reading guys. Um, but anyways, um, with this card also, I was hearing horny. <laughs> um, also like if you look in the card, like he's throwing coins in a wishing well like he's making a wish he's his wish is you like he's just like praying that you take him back like he's like please universe like he could also be praying like actually praying like there's literally like a church in the background um and being like you know like she's got to take me back like i'm just i feel like he's like manifesting you he's praying for you like just putting all of his money in one what is the what is the saying like all your eggs in one basket stuff like that like he's just everything is riding on this for him um and then also like in terms of horny guys i feel like he's i was hearing thirsty too and then like look at the card the horse is literally drinking water <laughs> so yeah um there's also that um and i was hearing breaking the rules like he doesn't care if he has to break rules to get to you um i was hearing victory is mine like he's very determined and I was also hearing that song again that I keep hearing. It's beautiful girls all over the world, but my time would be wasted. They got nothing on you, girl. Baby, nothing on you, girl. Is that the lyrics? Yeah. Anyways, um, and then also with this card, I was hearing Notepad. And I was also hearing the song. I don't know if it's the name of the song. It's like, saving all my love for you or something like that. So yeah guys he is very set on you and only you like that's a, very clear here um and then also this card kind of blew me away too guys i've been pulling stuff like hearing channel messages about things that are french i also keep pulling my eiffel tower charm ever since i added it it's like keeps coming out and like guys for some of you i feel like he wants to like this is a very specific message but for some of you you're gonna like eventually get proposed to in France I feel like on the at the Eiffel Tower I don't know it's just very 
keeps coming out something about that so for some of you france is significant or there's something there for both of you that's significant that could be a past memory or something um or one of you is french i don't know something about the eiffel tower is significant here guys i have no idea also this card is the moon by the way if you're wondering but so it's also about intuition like hidden feelings as well um and basically I also feel like you guys you guys could have a child together already you got or you might in the future um you could have a dog together as well guys and um for some of you like I don't know or just like in general he loves you so much like I feel like he just has such strong intense feelings for you like especially with the moon card these are like deep emotions um something also about the smell of you like a perfume you used to wear something that he like remembers um he just like has all these memories and I think a lot of them come out at night like when he's like in bed like he finds it really hard not to think about you and wish you were there with him like he just like dreams about you guys like this masculine straight up like I feel like he's just having dreams about you like constantly like intuitive dreams even um like every night like I just feel like or all the time or daydreaming about you or something about dreams um also for some of you he really likes your chest <laughs> um and yeah and then also i'm getting something like cinderella vibe like the the clock stroke st stroke <laughs> what is that stroke is that stroke midnight i don't know sorry guys so it, <laughs> the clock hit midnight and then like you had to go and like you ran away or something from him and like he just like I, I, ever since then he's been trying to like get you back or something i don't know like maybe you left something at his house like like when cinderella left her shoe like he has like a piece of something from you and like he still looks at it and like thinks about you and is like i will never find someone else just like her because no one else fits this like no one else is the exact same as her like it was only her i feel like that's how he feels towards you um and yeah there's something about timing here like i don't know like divine timing is definitely at play here i just keep feeling that um he wants to come back to you very soon and like yeah you also both had to deal with your shadows i feel like your shadow self um and the darker parts of you but now that you have like there's something about you guys like you're gonna be able to come back together again and like also there's something about again the spotlight you both could be in the spotlight but you both also enjoy your privacy. So like you both could be very well known or just like a lot of people know of you or maybe you, I don't know, post a lot of things online or I don't know, in some way, one of you could be in the spotlight, but you still enjoy your privacy. I keep seeing stuff about that. Um, there also, this also with the star card could just be like communication that comes um, over social media or like this could be also at night, guys. Um, he looks at your social media or something or looks at something about you at night. Um, I'm getting that and like misses you like I'm getting like strongly misses you like crying sad vibes like very much misses you um, also for some reason with like the whole offer and everything in this reading like I was hearing I keep hearing this message I'm hearing table for two table and chairs something about like a table for two guys so I feel like someone's going on like a romantic date soon or something yeah um, and then also with the star, I was hearing um, Academy Award winning, like maybe someone's gonna win an award or become famous, like if you guys are in the spotlight, it means like when you guys come together, maybe there's something about you guys being like so successful together, like you become some sort of power couple, like you guys end up in the spotlight eventually or someone wins an award. This also could be the masculine giving you something, like an award could be like a gift he gives you to thank you for everything that you've done for him, like we talked about how he feels like you've always been there for him. And, like, you really change his life with your words. So, maybe he wants to thank you with that. And that's what the award is about. But for some, like, maybe that's a specific message. Maybe you do win an Academy Award in the future or something like that. Um, I don't know. Something along those lines. And then I was also hearing the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And it's, like, your dreams are really coming true. Like, I feel like this masculine is feeling like you are his dream. And now it's, like, he just hopes it actually comes true. Like, this also could be your dream. Like, you guys are both on an intuitive level, like, knowing this is something you want. Something that you both feel strongly. And then now it's, like, dreams really can come true. Like, something will come into reality and actually come to fruition. Like, that's all that you guys are hoping for. And I feel like that's what's happening here. 
I was also hearing something about lust and passion. Um, and then I was hearing that song, Better Shape Up. Cause I need a man and my heart is set on you. <laughs> so I feel like he has shaped up. Like he's trying to be your man. He's trying to be everything that you always wanted. Like now he's trying to come across as like exactly what you wanted. Like he wants to be that man for you. Like in the past, if he wasn't, he's definitely changed now, I think. Um, I was hearing solution to all your problems. Like, I think he wants to help you with anything. Like, if you have any, um, like, if you're stressed about anything or if you are, like, um, working really hard or, like, you have a lot of bills to pay. Like, I feel like he wants to help you with everything. Like, he just wants to come into your life and be, like, a relief for you. Like, he doesn't want to make things harder. He wants to be someone who can help you um, and help build you up as well. And I also feel like he feels crazy, like he's lost his mind, but he like knows you're the one. Like he's just feeling so deeply in love with you. Like he's never felt this way for someone before. Um, and he has this dream, like he can literally see it in his dreams that like you guys are meant to be together. Like I think he's getting intuitive messages and it's freaking him out a little bit because he's like, why do I feel so intensely drawn to you? Like I don't understand. Like, but he's like, he can't stop thinking about you, I feel. And like he's having dreams about again i think being with you physically too like he sees a future with you and then guys i was hearing the song um i'm coming back for you baby or like the lyrics from that song um called the loneliest time and that's so funny like the lyrics are literally i'm coming back for you baby you guys have probably heard that in like tiktoks and things like that too but um it's like in the song it says knock on your door just like before rewrite another song i'm coming over tonight i just need back into your life like guys this is a masculine who literally wants to come to your house like he wants to knock on your door like he wants things to start over he wants to do over like he just wants to fix everything he feels so sad without you it's almost like i don't know i'm getting like romeo juliet vibes like minus the end scene <laughs> um like he just feels so strongly pulled towards you and wants to come back to you and is willing to do anything like he wants to risk it all for you I feel and um with the knight of cups here guys this is again a love offer coming towards you in the very near future I feel um he has a question for you is what I heard and um something about purchase I was hearing silver candlelit something about a baton I have no idea what that has to do with um and then also was hearing ride till i can't no more <laughs> i don't know guys and then lastly i was hearing redemption song which is beautiful it's by bob marley guys um go listen to that song such a great song but i feel like that's what he wants with you. he wants redemption like he wants to fix things he wants like also his freedom back i feel because his karmic took that away from him and like obviously was seen like he felt so trapped with this person and now like he finally with you like he feels free and like yeah you just you make him feel so different than anyone ever has and he wants that back again he wants that feeling back um i was also hearing one last song guys i was hearing that song it's like when the lights go down it's gonna be me and you that song um maybe go listen to that i love that song by the way guys like go listen to that song that and redemption song both are amazing and yeah, that is the message I have for you guys today. Um, this turned out to be longer than I thought it would be, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. Um, I don't think I'm going to post a, a membership video right after this. I might do it after the next video because I'm probably doing another reading tonight. Um, but anyways, join membership if you would like to. I did post um, a bonus reading like extended there earlier today. Of course, there's like all the extendeds there as well. So definitely join membership if you like uh, my messages, if you'd like bonus messages, as well as my channeled messages too. Um, that's just the link, the link, the join button below the video. It's also the link in the description box. Um, and then, yeah, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment and subscribe if I didn't already say that. It always helps my channel to grow. Thank you so much to the person that purchased these cards off my wish list. Again, I love them. I feel like this is going to become a deck I use a lot. So thank you. Um, and yes, if you guys ever want to donate, there is a wish list in the description box and also my PayPal link as well. Um, it really does help my channel to grow, channel to grow. It helps me to put out new videos for you guys every week. So thank you. And yeah, I think I'm finally done talking. So I'll see you guys later. All right. Bye.